Yo guys, welcome back to your baby PDC Joe Fusion Strike video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at my Galarian Slowking VMAX deck here that I have built. But this Galarian Slowking VMAX deck allows you to have basically 400 HP on your Galarian Slowking when we are going to be combining it with, of course, Obama Snow. Obama Snow allows all of your single strike Pokemon in play, except for Obama Snow, to have plus. 50 HP, which is really bonkers. And of course, we can also combine this with the tool card Galarian Chestplate, where if it's on a Pokemon with Galarian in its name, it takes 30 less damage from attack. So the idea is we put the Chestplate on the Slowking, which will then essentially boost its HP by 30. And then with Obama Snow, that will go up by 80, which will increase the HP in total to 400 HP, making this thing super tanky. Of course, the other cool thing is we are a single strike, which means we can work with single strike energy. We have a poison attack that puts um, 12 damage counts on your opponent's poison Pokemon between turns. And we're a dark type, which means Mew V Max might struggle against us, especially when we are going to be playing cards like Galarmine in the deck to make it very awkward for them to be able to move back and forth in the active spot. And that is what we're going to be rocking with today for my Galarian Silking deck. So, for the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, uh, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So, if you guys are looking to get any PDC Joe code still, of course, like the brand new set, Fusion Strike. That's well, not brand new anymore, but you know what I mean. Fusion Strike is kind of the new currency right now for packs. Get them at Car Cabin. Or if you're looking for IRL Pokemon TCG singles, get them over at Car Cabin too. If you get anything at Card Cabin, guys, at the checkout, be sure to use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and up our car cabin so shout out to car cabin check them out and be sure to use code ldf so let's take a look at the list i'm rocking with here this is my galarian Sloking v max deck i haven't looked at this card in a while and it's not bad i mean it still has a lot of tools obviously a big one is toxic croak allowing your poison damage to do 20 more damage um we're not going to be playing that many croaks. We're only playing a 2-2 two -two line. You don't need to play like a 4-4 four -four toxic croak. You don't really need to have like more than just one of these in play. Thanks to cards like single strike energy and poison. Um, you're already going to be 2 KOing most things anyways. The Obama Snow is the big card though. Being able to increase your HP by 50 is super powerful. And it puts you out of range of being KO'd by big attacks. Now, Slowking is of course weak to fighting, which is a big deal. There's nothing we can really do about that. If we hit Urshifu, I mean, we can sponge a hit on, sing on Rapid Strike thanks to Obama Snow, but... It's still not ideal. I am playing one Cheryl win a, and a 1-1 one -one Houndoom. Houndoom is in here for basically being able to accelerate energy to Slowking if forever needed to go between Slowkings, or we need the ability to build up Slowking a bit easier. But we can also go Cheryl, Houndoom. If we have Houndoom and play an energy in the deck and an energy in our hand, we can go Cheryl, heal the Slowking, again, 400 HP, and then we can go single strike order to the Slowking and then attach an energy from our hand. And that's kind of why we're playing that. I also originally was going to be playing Cook in the deck to heal 70 damage, which isn't a terrible idea either if you really want to go down that road. Um, another cool thing of the Galarmine combo is you can actually use it with the Galarian Silking V with Word of Ruin, um, which at the end of your opponent's next turn, that if any Pokemon is knocked out, and if there's a Galarmine in play and they can't move, it's like an easy, easy knockout there. So that is one cool combo we can also maybe accomplish with this deck. I got some switching cards. Um, because you don't want stuff to be stuck in the active with your own Galarmine. But I'm also playing for Hiding Dark Energy, which gives your Dark Pokemon free retreat, which does bypass Galarmine. And I got, got a couple Poke Gears. I'm not playing Crobat V in the deck, so I'm going to be playing a few Poke Gears for the extra draw support. And outside of that, that is the list. Uh, let's go try it out, see in action, and see how it does. All right, here we go. We won the coin flip in this first match here with the Slow King deck, which is, well, pretty good for our deck, of course. And we'll take the Mulligan. Kind of revealing we're playing a Galarian Slowking deck. If you were to take a guess what this could be, you would probably guess it was Slowking. Now we'll see what we're playing against here. It could be a Mew VMAX deck, which I mean is a pretty good matchup for a deck like this. Even though we technically don't one hit KO them, but ooh, okay. Now this is a starting hand. Now this is why we play Battle VIP Pass. Now look at this. Now look at this start here. This hand is actually insanely good. It is actually ridiculous how good this hand is. Um, we just need to move the Krogunk. Ooh, they're playing Gengar. Okay, we gotta be a little careful. This is why we do use the, um, Obama Snow here. We don't even need the VIP pass. Well, I mean, we might as well play it. Fill our entire bench up. What a filthy combo. Let's get another Snover, I guess, just in case we need to do double Obama Snow. This is why the Obama Snow is gonna be really good, because it's gonna make our Slow King very hard for Gengar to win a KO. The Gengar matchup actually is a little scary because I mean they'll just one-shot my Gengar, but because of Obama Snow and Galarian Chestplate, Gengar cannot one-hit KO Galarian Slow King. We just need to move the Krogunk here. And uh, we'll be chilling. I don't think we're gonna KO them though. Uh, maybe we don't even attack them then. 
Because I don't want, I don't know, maybe we don't want to attack him. Now, we'll see if they Marty me is the big question. They have a Marty here. So again, our hand is really good. Um, Nice, no Marty. They don't have much either, no supporter. There's the Galarian chest plate. There's the Obama Snow. So now our Galarian Slow King will effectively have 400 HP with that chest plate on. And we hit the switch. Oh my god, that's dirty. The only thing we're missing is the, um, literally the only thing we're missing here is the uh, Toxic Croak. That's fine though. We got them. We'll definitely go for the attack here and just kind of hit them here. I think that's fine. Not the bird keeper next turn. Not the greatest supporter though, to be honest, but we can just go retreat with the hiding dark energy on. They could play fan of waves. We'll have to watch out for that. But there you go. That is, I mean, I don't think I could have asked for a better start. If I'm be honest with you, I don't think I could have asked for a better start. That start was pretty good. Pretty good. So yeah, if they want to attack me here, they're not going to KO me because Obama Snow and Galarian Chestplate gives us 400 HP. As you see, we have 370 HP plus the chest plate. So, yeah, Obama Snow is a pretty, a pretty good card. I would say myself. Honestly, like I'm surprised Obama Snow doesn't see more play. I'm not even capping. Like I think this card's actually like that good. All right. So yeah, they're taking a bunch of damage here from the Houndoom. It's what I expected them to do. They're still poisoned. So I mean, they literally have to evolve here, or else they're gonna get knocked out by poison. Yeah, I think it was fine to attack them. I don't think I jumped the gun there by going straight for the attack, especially because they didn't do anything last turn anyways. So, like, they might have been dead drawing. So, it was actually worth it to attack them there to try to put pressure on them. There's actually a chance they did whiff here. They have another Crobat. They can't do that. You can't do two Crobats in one turn. Um. Uh-huh. This ain't Shaman EX. No, no, no. We, we're, we're long past the Shaman days. Okay, but there is a Marnie coming from my opponent. Which is fine, as long as I can still find some stuff. I need to get another energy in play. That's why I do have Houndoom in the deck, though, in case you need to get the energy on. We could find a Cheryl combo, maybe? No, we do get some good stuff, though. This is that was a decent Marnie. We can also take advantage of Tower, which is nice. I want to find Gowler Mine, if I can, to uh, maybe trap something. Oh, they found the Gengar. No, how much HP does it have, though? 170. They did find the Gengar. Again, it's not going to want to KO me. It would want to KO me, usually... But thanks to the chest plate and the Obama Snow, it ain't even close, which is awesome. So let's go here. Evo Incense. Or Toxicroak. I think that's fine. I'm going to play Tower too. I'm going to ditch the uh, Urn of Vitality. Just try to get some stuff here. There's Galar Mine. There we go. Play this. Hmm. Take this. I'm not gonna play it. I'm actually just gonna. Well, I could play it. The, the nice thing is their attack is like they can't do G Max Swallow Up again, or they can't even attack me. Tempted a Bird Keeper here into like Snover, like Hound Hour or something. I think I'm just gonna Marnie them though, and just hopefully we get energy here. Maybe I should grab Hound Doom. Nah, it's fine. We got energy. We'll knock them out, or we'll hit them and just hope they don't have a KO in return. I think that's the play. We'll see how it goes. Let's burn these real quick. Not much left in our deck in terms of stuff. I wish I had the uh, hiding dark energy on though. So we'll attack them here and we'll see what they're able to do. If <laughs> 20 HP left. I needed the single strike energy. I didn't have it though. That's a shame. Now they could have a switch switch combo. We do have Galar Mine, so if they don't find a stadium, they might not be able to go back into Gengar. So that's kind of the idea. Is hopefully they can't go back into Gengar. No, I marnie them into the stadium. That is very annoying. Yeah, not having the single strike energy here is really screwing us over. Because we literally, like, we would have killed the Gengar had we had the single strike energy. That really sucks. And we have a decent amount of HP left. This is not good. If they KO me this turn, we're going to be in trouble. Oh my god, my Marnie gave them the nuts. I marnied them into a tower and a research. Re. Yeah, we could we could honestly lose this. I think it's gonna come down to whether or not we can like Cheryl this thing. We're gonna have to try to set up the Houndoom Cheryl combo, I think, in order to potentially have a chance of winning the game. Oh, they hit the hiding dark too. You hate to see it. Hmm. But do they have the attack this turn? They probably have switch. They haven't played one yet. They probably have it. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry, Slow King. Can we knock him out? Well, I can knock him out with Hound Hour, which is what I'll do. If they go back into Gengar, I'll just kill them with Hound Hour. I don't know. I, at the same time, though, I need Houndoom for the Cheryl combo on Slow King. That's why I am playing the Houndoom and Cheryl in the deck, so we can like pull off a Cheryl-Houndoom combo. But 
We're not going to be able to do that if I waste my Hound Hour on a Knockout on a Gengar. But it might be the correct play to do. Because then one Slow King could carry us to a win. Again, as long as I can't want to KO me, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, you know, it's not really a big deal. But it is a big deal. Cheryl is still really good for us, but we'll see what happens. They're going to evolve the active. Ooh, they're going to pass. Oh, they're going to give me a free hit? Oh, no mind if I do. Hmm. Okay, let's just go research here and see what we get. That's good. Free hit. I like it. Evil Wind Sense. We can grab another Obama Snow. Get the whole gang in play. We are missing a draw supporter. I could get rid of one of the single strike energies, though. But that's That actually makes it so I can't even do Cheryl now because I drew all the single strikes. Do I have... I don't think I have any other basics. I'm not going to play Quick Ball. I'm just going to do this. All right, we got Galar Mine. Yeah, I got no... There's no Pokemon left in the deck. I can find another chest plate. Maybe not. I have two bombs in the place. Let's just do this. And then... We'll Hound Doom. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do Cheryl. We can retreat, though. And then do this. We have a... We should be able to survive a hit, right? We have 350 HP right now. We might not have the chest plate on, but we definitely want to go attack them here. If they don't move the Gengar, we're going to knock them out. Yeah, they're going to die to poison, so they have to retreat this turn. But we did put Galar Mine in play, so they have to find a Hiding Dark Energy here to move the Gengar, which they probably do have. No, they're going to reboss my guy back up. Um, they can knock me out with Fear and Panic, I guess. But then they die to Poison, and then I have Boss in hand for a game. Um, so, we'll see what they do. I think we're still fine to win the game. Because they have, I mean, they have to retreat here. If they don't retreat, we're going to win. Unless they Marty me and I don't draw Boss. Um... But I haven't even... It's my first boss. And I have three in the deck. Plus another Poke Gear. So, yeah. Yeah, the fact that they overbenched the Crobats was really good. Because, like, they clogged their bench up. Now they can't bench a third Gengar. Yeah, they have to retreat here. But then I can KO them with Houndoom. And our Slowking should be safe. So that's good. All right. Let's see what we can do. This thing should be able to survive a hit from this if we're lucky. I need the chest plate though, but we can just do this and then just fail this. Just search the deck. See, what we have left. We still have four draw supporters. We still have our Cheryl, which unfortunately we can't really use anymore because we're going to lose our Houndoom here. We still switch and then we'll just knock him out. And we'll just have to see if they can KO my Galarian Slow King. It's very unlikely they can one shot it. Even with like four single strike energy, it just wouldn't be feasibly possible. But we'll find out what my opponent's deck is capable of. If not, this Gengar will get KO'd by Max Toxify. The Hiding Dark, uh, them having High Dark though kind of sucks. It just meant our our Gal and mine just weren't very effective, which isn't very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I mean, Gengar VMAX is not what Galarian Slow King was meant to beat. But we're putting up a pretty good fight. I mean, our start was just so nutty thanks to like the basics and VIP passes and stuff. Uh, the problem here is they're going to try to kill me with the other Gengar, but I have boss in hand, so they have to Marty me here, else I win the game. Yeah, as long as... Uh, how much are we doing with Max Toxify 10? No, we, even without Tox Toxicroak now, this thing gets one shot by uh, Max Toxify. So no matter what, they have to... They have to retreat here. If they KO me with their active, we just KO. We win. No, they're gonna, unless they can somehow one shot my Slow King. But we have 350 HP. I don't think they can do that much damage. Um, like if they're maybe playing a Karen's Conviction, they could get there. But because I... Don't have the Slowking in the active spot. They can't do that. That's why I actually... That's why Kaelin and Houndoom is correct. So they have to find more resources. Yeah, they just have a research. So that should just be GG's then, right? They knock me out with their active Gengar VMAX. And then we KO them with Max Toxify. If they attack me with this Gengar, we just KO them with a boss Max Toxify. Because they researched and did not Marty me. So I think we have done it. I think we have won the game here. Um, but we're going to find out what's about to happen. Yeah, Bomb of Snow. Bomb of Snow was amazing. Just, again, making it so that we can't get one KO'd as easily by stuff like Gengar VMAX is just really, really good. I mean, there's just not much more to say. It's just really good. Yeah, they have the switch. Because we have the Hiding Dark Energy on, we can just go into Slow King and win the game. There we go. That's game. Boss for the game and Max Toxify for a knockout. And there you go. Galarian Slow King takes down Gengar. The Battle of the Dark VMAX Single Strike Pokemon. And somehow Galarian Slow King is the one that comes out on top. I know, I'm just as so surprised. There you go. That's basically the deck in action there, as you see what it's all about. 
And uh, that was a great match. All right, we won the coin flip again. Now let's see if we can get another good start like the last game, aka find a battle VIP pass. No, we do get Snover. Um, this hand is a not. It actually, this hand isn't that bad. If we can draw into a Galarian Slow King V, this hand is decently playable. We have a turn two Max Toxify. Maybe we don't draw it, so we're gonna have to capture G here for the Slow King, and then pass. We can go Obama Snow here next turn. And then we can probably go Concoction if we really wanted to. Draw some cards. But we hit a Rapid Strike Urshifu deck. It was bound to happen eventually. Um, yeah, Rapid Strike Urshifu is not your best matchup, to say the least. They can't one-shot you. Even without the Obama Snow, it would still be hard for them to KO you in one hit. But being weak to fighting just doesn't really help your case all that much. So there's really not much you can do. Actually, if I don't move Obama Snow here, I'm going to die to... Gale, I'm gonna die to Gale Thrust. So we gotta move it. We don't move it. Oh no! I mean, I mean, I prefer if my Obama Snow obviously lives. That kind of sucks. Hmm. We got another Snover here just to be safe. I mean, the other one's in the discard, but we'll still grab it just in case. I'll just pass. And hopefully they don't knock me out. They just need Urshifu energy, which they obviously have. So rip. They also play Tower of Water, which is really bad, too. This is one of the only other decks that we could play against that would have an easy free retreat route thanks to the Tower of Water. Um, so, it's not very good either. It's just like, yeah, it's just not looking good. But, yeah, I'd probably rather poison the Urshifu and not knock out Sobble. Because, I mean, our game plan is always just KO two Urshis, which is going to be very hard to pull off. But, I don't know, we can maybe get there. Again, they're most likely going to KO my Obama Snow. Maybe I should even have evolved then, to be honest. Maybe I shouldn't have evolved. Maybe I jumped the gun by evolving it. Yeah, I probably... Maybe I shouldn't have evolved it. I don't know. I mean, it's not super useful because they're still going to be 300 damage. If we get chest plate on, they're doing, what, 270 damage. We're still going to die to Rapid Flow. Even if I think a Bomb Snow is in play, Rapid Flow would still KO us. Even if we're on the bench and they don't hit for weak. I mean, yeah, this is just not looking pretty, but we'll see. Our hand isn't bad. I'm hoping Pokey Gear gives us a supporter. They actually play the tower first. Okay, that's good. They get rid of his shady deal. Okay, that's actually really good. Okay, the Octillery is annoying, though, because it means they can just grab tower at any point they want out of their deck. But, I mean, baby steps, I guess. Baby steps. Okay, they're wasting a lot of their shady dealings now, which is good. I don't mind that. Did they whip the attack? There's no way. Oh, they play Rod. Yes, that is the most random card I've ever seen in my in Nurshu deck. Now they get back Inteleon, which is actually really annoying. Now they get access to Shady Dealings, which I don't like. I really don't like. They don't play the Rod. Okay, so now I can Marnie them and maybe get rid of that. All right, sorry, Obama Snow. I should have, yeah, I should have evolved it. Whatever. Let's just see what we top deck here. Earn. All right, let's just do this. Marnie, Perfect. I guess we want Gallarmine. Not that it'll do anything, because I imagine they will go tower again, but we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. That was a pretty bad Marnie. Didn't get any uh, supporter, but we do get Gallarmine, so, I mean, we can put this into play and then slow him down a little bit. This is a matchup where Cheryl's actually really good. They don't want to... They can't want to KO me, even though we have no... We have no Galar... Galarian Chestplate or Obama Snow. They can't want to KO me, so that's good. Again, there's a very good chance they're going to go for the retreat. They could actually just rapid flow me here and just hit both slow kings, which would be pretty bad. They could even KO my Hound Hour, or they could knock out my Snover, and then I can never get a Bomb Snow to play, uh, which could be pretty bad. I thought about playing Zoark in here, um, but I didn't know what to really, you know, take out for the Zoark. But Zoark definitely isn't the worst card ever. Oh, no, now they can KO me. Now they can KO me, but they have the Gale Thrust to knock me out. Hmm. Okay, Marnie, that's fine. Our hand was not very good. All things considered. Our hand wasn't great. Okay, this is better. I need to just get another Houndoom and we can start attacking again. But it's not going to matter until I find a Bomb of Snow. If they found Switch. They are still under the Gallarmine lock though, but nope, they found the attack. I'm just going to concede this. We're not... Very unlikely we're going to win the game, I feel like. So I'm just going to move on. Can't do anything. You're at standard for you. If you're weak to something... You kind of just can't beat it. How it works with three prize Pokemon. All right, we lost a coin flip, so we're going second, but that's fine. If we can find some stuff, which we do find some stuff, we actually get a lot of stuff. VIP pass. We're just missing a draw supporter, but I thankfully have concoction, so we're chilling. 
All right, pretty good start. It's just we need a supporter. But other than that, our hand is pretty good. We got the VIP pass, a couple basics. But honestly, at this point, didn't even need the VIP pass, but definitely it's fine to fill our bench up. All right, they lead with a Zacian. Could be playing against Zacian, Zamazenta. It also could be Duraludon. Duraludon is not a great matchup. But we'll see how it goes. Trepid Sword. Oh, they could just get lucky and rip a lucky and Trepid Sword. Thankfully, they didn't. All right, whew. Dodged a bullet there. They're slow king. We can go grab these two. Here. It could be a matchup where Cheryl could be pretty good. And we'll capture energy for another Snover. And I'll concoction. I'm above the stadium, actually. Get rid of the Crystal Cave. Just in case they marry me. I want to win the stadium race here, which we can do now thanks to the, the first stadium. And all right. Will we get Marnied? Find out next time. Probably will, actually. I mean, they haven't... I'm hoping they don't Marnie me. Our hand is juicy, but there's a good chance they do Marnie me here because they have a huge hand, so they want to Marnie away. Okay. There's the second Crystal Cave. That's fine. Why oh, did play the Galar Mine? If we can win the Stadium Race, that's good. Crystal Cave kind of fixes the math. Oh, no. They play Crushing Hammer. Uh-oh. Double Tails. You like to see it? It's good. Houndoom. This is one of the reasons also like Houndoom. Stuff like Fan of Waves can obviously slow you down. This deck would be a lot worse if you had to go attach attach. Because of Houndoom, you don't have to worry about that as much. Because if they get if they get a lucky hammerhead here, right, then I, I can't attack them. But thanks to Houndoom, I can. Okay, let's see we draw. Nice. Second slow king. Well, let's just see what we got. Do we have a third in the deck? I don't know if I want to evolve, but it's not in the deck. I'm gonna go Houndoom here. I'm just gonna go for the attack. I'm I wanna get Houndoom in play because I'll yeah, we'll just fall this, whatever. I didn't wanna do that, but. I think we can move two Slow Kings. We'll see how it goes. And what are we looking at here? Okay. Toxic Crook is good. Got Hiding Dark. Um, I think I'm still going to go Single Strike Roar, though, because I do at the very least want to make sure we are going to do a bit of damage because they put a K they could put a K plus another Crystal Cave. So I want to make sure we're able to um, at least still do a bit of damage to 2 it KO them. 30 plus the Toxic Crook, right? So that's 170 damage every turn. 140 by Poison. So, I just want to make sure I hit them pretty hard here. The harder I hit them, the better. Um, now, they could play Zamazenta down, which the only problem with Zam is we can't damage it, but we can poison it, but it also ruins my energy. So, I, mean, I gotta make sure I don't ever lose my Urn of Vitality. So we're gonna need that to make sure we have energy in the deck. Ooh, Avery. Ah, that's annoying. Do I even need a Bomb of Snow? 230. No, I do. I'll stitch Toxicroak. That's an annoying Avery. Now, oh, Toxtroke isn't really needed right now, anyways. And they found a switch. Yeah, that's fine. I figured they'd have something. They have no energy in play, though, so I'm not really worried about my spot right now. I can Marnie them next turn, too. I can keep hitting the Zacians. I mean, I can't keep healing them forever. And I have three Boston decks. I can always keep bossing them back and forth. There's the third Crystal Cave. Okay. They found their third, they, they, they found their third cave, and they are going for the Zam play. All right, that's fine. How much HP does this have now? 80. This is why I need to make sure I get the stadiums in play. But thankfully, we found another Galar Mine. So I'll just Marnie them here. They fail the Intrepid Sword. I How have they kept failing it? That's insane. Not going to lie. All right, it's level ball. And we got no Krogunks left. Rip. So we price our other Krogunk. So I'll just Marnie them. Make sure their hand isn't super big anymore. There's a Bomb of Snow, which is good. I'm going to hold the hand, too. I'm not going to play any energy, knowing that they have energy removal cards. I'm just going to max Toxify. Hit him for 30. And they get that poison damage on. So we have one Galar Mine left, but they have one Crystal Cave left. So, unless I have Dialga, we should win the Stadium War here, which is really good for us. This will make it really hard for my opponent to pivot between Intrepid Swords, too. There's a Scrapper. Fine. I don't think we really... I mean, we have, what, 350 HP? Hmm. I, I don't even think the damage really matters. Honestly, I don't even know if we really need a Bomb of Snow. I feel like they're going to two-kill me anyways. Especially with Double Brave Blade or even Brave Blade Assault Tackle. That's, what, 360 in total? Nah, Glaring Chest Blade does make it so they can't get two-shot by Zacian and Zam. Maybe it is good. Are they playing... Okay, they are playing Duraludon. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought they were playing Zacian, but they are playing Duraludon. That would make sense as to why they weren't attaching energy every turn. Hmm. If they got a poison here, that's really good. If I can find a boss's order, I can take out two Zacians. Nice. They died a poison. Let's go. Nice. Okay, I was wondering why they weren't putting energy in play, but that, I guess that's why they're playing Duraludon. Duraludon's really slow, though. They have no energy acceleration. So, like, maybe that's good for us. 
We could even use Word of Ruin. Ooh, I got some spicy text. They have to bring something in here. They have to bring something. They, they could bring in a Duraludon so they can evolve out of Poison. I think that's their best play here. Oh, they can see the match. Let's go. I thought, okay, this matchup is kind of scary. They play Flannery. They have Hammers. They have Zamazenta. They could actually run me pretty low on energy. And honestly, we got lucky we were able to get that early prize lead on them because that speeds up the process of us winning, especially when they have two Pokemon in play that I can knock out without having to really deal with Duraludon. But we'll take it. Yeah, I didn't actually need the Obama Snow. So I should have kept Toxtrope in play, but I didn't know I was actually playing against Duraludon there. Uh, we can buy a pack from the shop here, I guess. And then... You were looking at here. I'm gonna be buy. Uh, you might be like, why are you buying emerging powers? It is considered one of the worst sets in the entire history of the game. Well, you know what? I am looking for a card in this set that I do not have yet. Believe it or not, there is a card I do not have from the set yet that I actually want to pull for future legacy stuff. I'm not gonna say what it is unless I actually pull it, which we don't pull it. All right. Y'all never know what it is. Trust me. All right. We lost the coin flip, so we're gonna go second again. But that's fine. If we can maybe get some VIP passes, it's not too bad. All right, uh, not a bad start, I guess. We'll take it. We'll see what we're playing against here. Looks like it's a Leafeon VMAX deck. Hiding Dark Energy is going to be really good here. Um, honestly, I'd rather get the first Galar Mine down because then their Galar Mines are dead cards. Is it Leafeon? It's Leafeon. Oh, it actually could be something else. It's most likely Leafeon, though. Now, if it is Leafeon, we're going to hope they don't find turn one Leafeon here and they don't have a turn to Grass Knot. Thankfully, though, we do have Hiding Darks so and they have to find Fan Mine grass knot so they still need a lot to knock me out but we'll see how the pdcgo rng gods are feeling we can go marnie concoction too which isn't terrible no nope, they found the leafeon but at the cost of a quick shooting intellion that's annoying but again thanks to hiding dark energy this matchup might not be that bad they have max leaf i guess too actually now i want to mine them because now the subble doesn't retreat okay that's annoying they found the leafeon but that's fine we're gonna draw into another good card sure so marnie and can we find snover Hey, there we go, VIP pass. That's the benefit of going second sometimes is you find a supporter and that supporter can find you the stuff. I'm going to grab Hound Dower in case they do get a knockout here. Um, So I could mine them now so they can't retreat the Sobble. And then they just do keep calling. So I'm kind of like indifferent to it. I'm just going to do Concoction. Hopefully we don't get Marnie. We probably will get Marnie, but we'll see. If they don't Marnie me, we're chilling. In fact, I can get the first boss on them, which I might actually do here if they don't attack me. Doing keep calling isn't a terrible play for my opponent, you know? So we'll see. We'll see if they KO me. They need Fan, Ga Galarmine, Leafeon, Energy to knock me out here. Um, We'll see if they can actually pull that off. There's the Leafeon. All right, they need Energy, Mine, Fan of Waves. We'll see if they have it. They have it, that's bad. Cheryl's going to be pretty good for us in this matchup, too, to heal. Because they can't one-shot me, depending on whether or not, you know, we can actually get the stuff going. I can go Houndoom here, and then put the, I want to spread the energy out, which is pretty good. All right, there's a retreat. All right. Okay, no Marnie. We keep the hand. And they had a Marnie, too. Whew, dodged a bullet there. Jeez. That means that they're probably digging for the play. Now, will their research get them Galarmine Energy Fan? That would be pretty insane if it does. In fact, my opponent should go play the lottery if they get that. But if not... We can get the attack on them because they're doing zero damage with Grass Knot. Mine. Okay. Nice. We dodged a bullet. Now, Max Leaf is annoying, but it doesn't two-shot me if I get Chest Plate plus a Bomb of Snow down. Woohoo. You love to see it. I right, just grab Houndoom. I could even Word of Ruin them, which actually isn't terrible. See how it goes. Yeah, Word of Ruin is even decent here, too, even if I don't get the attack. I research and then Slowking. Nope. Rip. No VMAX. What? That's fine. I can word of ruin them. And if they don't move here, they will die. So if they choose to stay in the active, they will die. Let's say I've switched Scoop Now, Leafeon does play Heavy Counter Switch, but they are down one of their switches, so who knows? Maybe they don't find it. Maybe we get super lucky. Nope. They got Intellion. Yep, they're going to go Scoop Net Switch, aren't they? It's going to be the Net Switch combo. Again, they're not doing much damage to me, though. Whiffing the poison does suck. Also, not getting another another croak down kind of sucks too. Oh, they have no leaf badge. That's actually really bad for us. They get a free retreat pivot rip. That's annoying. 
That means I can't even do... Now the poison damage is... Ah, oh, that sucks. Damn. Bird of Ruin, you're supposed to be good. They go into the Alephion. Do they have a switch? They didn't Shady Dealings for a switch, so maybe they don't have it. They could Drizzle for a switch, but it's like... You're kind of wasting your Shady Dealings when you could have just grabbed it off of the first Shady Dealings. So why would you do three Shady... Why would you do... Why would you do two Shady Dealings to get a card you could have got off one Shady Dealings? You know what I mean? So... What, what's the point of that? Why would they just not go Snow Leaf Badge? What? All right, whatever. They're still not doing any damage with Grass Knot, so I have to max Leaf me here. They have a Marnie. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's, this hand honestly wasn't very good, so I'll take it. Don't Brick. Okay, let's see what they got here. If they don't attack me this turn, if they whiff an energy, punish them, please. Let's go. We did it. Nice. All right, cool. We'll do this. Do this. Then we will... I'll bird keeper here. It's fine. I don't really want to Marnie them. They didn't do anything with their hand, so they might not even be that good of a hand. So I don't really see a point of playing Marnie there. You catch my drift? Uh, I still need to find a bomb of snow, but for now, we'll just chill out and max Toxify. Get some damage on them. So they can max Leaf here, which will heal some of the damage we do to them. But that's fine. The Hiding Dark Energy is just carrying us right now. See, last turn, I I feel like they just should have went, they should have just done that play where they went with the, sh they could have Shady Lens for Switch Badge instead of going three Shady Lens. And that, wasting the Drizzle like that is pretty good. That's just one less Shady Dealings we have to worry about, which could be relevant. So they kind of have to, hmm, I, I don't know. Last turn, I feel like maybe they didn't know what the Hiding Dark did, or maybe they just didn't realize it was on me because they had grasped on me. What they could have done is they could have built up the Leafeon with Greening Cells. But now they're still not going to damage me because they're not even going to do max leap. They're just settling with another Grass Knot. So unless they have Fan of Waves, I mean, if they have Fan of Waves, it's not like they're KOing me, right? We have a five retreat cost, but thanks to G G Galarian Chestplate. And the, I got I got another Hiding Dark on, bro. You can't, you, you're not damaging me. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, but uh, you ain't damaging my boy. So it doesn't matter too much. And they just scoop. There we go. We'll take it. Otherwise, a pretty tricky matchup. Kind of turns good thanks to Heidi Dark Energy. So we will take it there. Actually, did they play Fan of Waves? I actually kind of want to know if they have Fan of Waves. Oh, they don't play Fan in the deck. All right. So we didn't have to worry about it. So we actually, we should just win there. So they didn't have Fan anyways. All right, perfect. Anyways, that'll be it for the Galarian Soul King video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got some good matches there, of course. We did get some pretty fast games, but maybe that'll happen when you're playing a deck this um, toxic. I get it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, leave a like. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 23k subs. We are now less than uh, 400 subscribers off of uh, 23k. So, yeah, and sub yet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Stop what you're doing and hit that sub button right now. Check out Car Comment down below. Use Call DF. Check out my Twitch down below. Check out my Discord server. Check out uh, my Twitter, I think. I already said that. I don't know. Anyways, well, I hope you guys have a good day and I uh, will see you guys in another PDC2 video.